Hey, who do I have sitting here right now? Is he still staying with me? Greetings. <laughs> James. Yes, James. James. We're not going to say what happens on this video, but he's so right. <laughs> he makes me laugh, CC. He's such so funny. It gets the stage, I think, when you look at the, ex the external world and all these so-called news stories. Um, face palm is <laughs> almost, well, there's your face covering in this sort of incredulity about the whole thing I mean regardless of who it is if you're gonna have somebody what looks to be a high profile stressful position like a US president wouldn't you want somebody a bit younger if it was genuine well, but they all say that he's come in and then Camilla's all fluffing around she does she is actually a very excited woman she's like <gasps> her face and everything and then like come on come on come on she's very like that so she's irritable anyway she's waiting to take over biden's place that's what everybody reckons yeah she's probably excited on having this power um and do you know why i think they're going to do it because i don't know if everybody remembers but we're going to play this video that cc's done it's very important what cc says mm -hmm. but basically what i noticed was when biden was being inaugurated she was walking in front of him oh that's interesting I can show it to you. Mm -hmm. She should be would have been walking behind yeah, him, or at least beside him. But she was that yeah. she was that bit ahead of him. Like, come on, 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 down to the thing, hmm. and then everybody greets her, and she's all. Oh, I, yes. I take it. Um, or he. I take it. Our free and unbiased um, mainstream media have scrutinised that in the same way they did with Trump walking in front of the Queen. No. Right? Well, that's and strange. also Camilla's <laughs> head's bigger than Biden's. Well, yeah, she's probably got more of an ego, and that's why she's so thrilled at being vice president. Do you want me to show you, James, the um, video yeah, so can you do. can see it? Right, we're going to stop just for a moment. She has plenty of vices. Well, I've just been showing James that this is the same person. They certainly look very similar. Um, the thing to remember that actors have a makeup department and a dressing room, and uh... he's just got more hair and he's got less hair. Well, you can just put a different wig on. I mean, his face looks wider, so that could all be padded out. Um, it's a cartoon, anyway. Oh, <laughs> there you go, then. The yeah. suits look very similar. But the reason was we put this just before CC's because I really like what CC says. Yeah, but I mean, ideally, I mean, tr what, how old is Trump? He was about 70-odd, wasn't he? Yeah, and Biden's a bit older. So y y are you telling me out of... The population of 370 million, which is the United States is supposed to be, that neither political party could come up with um, a candidate that is younger and less likely to have a heart attack or get dementia. Camilla's or something. waiting in the wings. Well, yeah, we, we know that's all part of the stage. He is. Yeah, yeah he is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. Um, You've got to you, laugh, haven't you? Because it's crazy. You, you, you just have oh, to have a look for the Adam's second. apple. <laughs> Oh my god, I've lost the thing, hang on. There it is. Right, sorry James, carry on. Yeah, so, I mean, if anything, you just study and look to see if there's an Adam's apple, which I, I, I must say I've noticed, my observation of Donald Trump is he, he seems to have exceptionally small hands for a man. And he's always moving them as if I put my arms through your arms <laughs> like that, and his arms are then, you know, like when that person does that, and they're yeah. going, like, that's what he looks like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you when mean. When you put your arms... You put your arms through someone else's arms and they put their arms behind theirs and then it looks like you're their arms and they're moving them like this. That's what he looks like. Yeah. I still think that um, Biden, I'm, that must be his, uh, an illegitimate son, that creepy banjo player and do his dueling banjos with Burt Reynolds, that, that film. Because, <laughs> I mean, black eyed children. Should we show him? <laughs> Should we show him? Um, up to you. Uh, do, okay, we'll you, show him you, and then... If you just can get, if you can capture a still. Yeah, one second then, one second. Where, where is it, where is it? I'll put it in. <laughs> We're looking for the microphone. 
Right. Yeah, James wanted me to put that picture up. Thinks that yeah. even though it can't be because Burt Reynolds is about the same age or he's about the same age as Burt Reynolds, that kid is a kid in it. Just look at but the eyes. Just, just look at the eyes. It's same sort of looking. face. Yeah. It was, I think, Matt on Quantum of Conscience that actually mentioned it first. So I'm not, it's not my idea, but I can I can see what he's saying. The nose is. I, I'm sure that's an illegitimate spawn. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're going to watch. CC's video now, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah. He says it all and he made me laugh. Because you gotta laugh, because that's all you can do. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's um, January 13th, uh, 2021. And the saga or the soap opera continues with the previous president. You know, I don't know too much about politics, but I do know that the only reason why they have impeachment is to impeach a president. He's no longer a president anymore. He can't be impeached as a citizen. Don't people see this? I mean, have people become so stupefied that they're actually talking about this as, as if it's a real deal? You know, I mean, it's unbelievable how fake everything is. It, it's it's remarkable. And I. I am beyond words when, when I flip on the TV once in a while and I just see what's going on and all I have to say to myself is just get the popcorn out and enjoy it because it's a joke because that's all it is. Everything that you see on TV is a fucking joke. All of it. All the media, all the nonsense. It's a joke for us. It's amusement and that's all it is. Amusement. Um, because it's... It, it, I, I just, I can't believe how stupefied people have become. I can't believe they're actually getting into conversations about this. You know, I mean, and, and where, where, where's our new president? Is he, is he out of the basement yet? <laughs> I mean, what a job. Is he out of the basement yet? Where are you? Huh? So basically what you're getting is what you had with President Reagan at the end of his term. Okay? You're getting that now <laughs> at the beginning of a term. <laughs> Think about that for a second. You remember how President, you know, remember what Pres President Reagan did at, at around the end of his term? He was starting to lose it there. <laughs> I think that was about the time that he brought up UFOs, wasn't it? Somewhere around there during his presidency, he brought it up. I, I'm not exactly sure, but I believe it's around the end of his presidency. So now we're getting somebody who's at that age and he just started his presidency. <laughs> and you think this is real. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, it is just hysterical. I, I just, I, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm listening to the TV and I'm laughing. And, and, and my significant other is like, what are you laughing at? And I'm like, look, <laughs> look how stupid this is. Oh man, okay, anyway. Um, so, so, 